But first, the increasing frustration felt by some drivers trying to get fuel. We filmed at a number of petrol stations today where many don't have petrol or diesel. The reason? Protests at oil refineries in Essex. Richard Daniel has this report. Run dry once again. In East Suffolk today, for drivers, it was a case of déjà vu. This garage near Snape had no idea when to expect a delivery. It was a similar story on the A12 at Woodbridge. For days, Oz Thompson has struggled to get fuel. He says it's time for the government to get tough. I'm sure if that was affecting people in Parliament, like Mr Boris Johnson, right, if he couldn't get fuel for his Jag, right, he would have sorted this out by now. You know, uh, they need to get the fingers out. So you're saying get much harsher, tougher with these protesters? Most definitely. Activists from Just Stop Oil have been blockading oil depots, including this one at Thurrock in Essex, where many tankers destined for East Anglia are loaded. Essex police have made 373 arrests in recent weeks, including 15 more last night at Thurrock. A senior officer described protesters as reckless and dangerous. What we're getting is these stupid idiots who are actually trying to ruin people's lives. We already have incredibly expensive fuel at the moment, so it's a double bad whammy for drivers at the moment. Expensive fuel and they've got to drive around to find how, uh, which, which pumps are actually got fuel in them. Labour is calling for nationwide injunctions to stop the disruption, while the Conservative MP for Ipswich, Tom Hunt, has condemned Just Stop Oil activists, saying they must not be allowed to do this and get away with it, adding they should be dealt with very harshly. One protester who was arrested after climbing on top of a tanker at Thurrock is unrepentant. If the government just makes a statement that they will halt all new and future licensing and consents for fossil fuels, then we will stop all of this disruption. We don't want to be doing it, but it's so urgent. We won't have any futures unless the government acts. The impact on filling stations remains patchy. Many places are unaffected. But in others, it's causing significant inconvenience and there's no sign yet of an end to it. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East, Suffolk. Well, the government has given us a statement on this. They said all fuel supply points are now operational and we are working closely with the industry to ensure that supplies are maintained. Well, remember, if you've been affected and you want to uh, get in touch with us, you can call, email or contact us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll try to get through as many co comments as I can on tomorrow evening's Look East.